Don't play house in your early 20s. Don't play house. don't know I'm gonna tell you to do follow me on everything subscribe to the channel like share subscribe you know what to do okay everybody know what I want with so. hey goody okay so I'm gonna just jump right in if you guys all right on for a little bit so grab your popcorn and you just you know have a seat because I'm taking you on a ride okay so this was a particular time in my life this was I was real young okay I was probably like 20 yeah I was like 20 and I was going through I was going through so much early 20s you're going through a lot you're trying to figure out life and this was my first relationship that I've ever been in my first boyfriend so I was living with him strike one in my failure okay but I'm being honest I'm only I'm not I'm not trying to be hard on myself or my on myself honestly I'm just telling the truth I'm trying to get you guys so um you know just telling yourself telling you guys some things about me that I didn't know right but some you probably already did know so yes I lived with him and um the thing that I realized at that age of me living with him was I was going through a lot personally and I felt like the best thing for me to do at the time was to live with my, 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 my boyfriend I don't know why but I feel like every time a young girl wants to live with a boyfriend instead of her family something's going on at home and to be honest a lot of things was going on at home and I felt like I wasn't getting any answers and I felt like I wasn't I wasn't getting the support that I needed and I wasn't getting a lot of things and because I was already in this relationship with this boy and he was so willing to, you know, do for me, help me and everything like that. And it's like, you know what, obviously you're going to take that because, you know, as a young woman, it's like, you, you feel like you need that. You know what I mean? Because at the time, my grandfather died, you know? So it's like everything in my life just started just tumbling down because it's like I grew up with my grandparents, okay? I grew up with my grandparents and my grandfather passed away like this was the man that I saw as my father he passed away and I I just felt like my whole life was just going in a freaking like a black hole I don't even know how to describe it but I just felt like it was just everything was just going not good and I didn't feel like I couldn't grasp anything I couldn't control anything because he wasn't around anymore so you know the the man in my life the man that I looked up to like a father was gone and the next thing that I had was my ex and <laughs> I felt like you know he's willing to step up to the plate even though we were young and it was like I took that and ran with it and moved in <laughs> Just like, I took it I ran with it and I moved in okay so I was playing house don't play house in your early 20s don't play house okay I didn't realize that because at the time even though I would go home and visit I would go back to my grandma's house and visit a lot she was pissed okay she was very upset because this is not how she raised me and she could not understand why I'm doing this and it's like the more I was trying to explain to her why I did it it was just in her mind it was like so what I don't care you need to come back home so that's that was it like it, Caribbean Caribbean parents it's like they don't even care about your side of the story sometimes they don't even want to hear that it's like okay okay you going through a lot good that's fine come back home cuz that's not your husband that's that's how I was raised he's not your husband no this that's a no you need to come back home which to be honest now looking back on it she was absolutely right I had no business being over there playing house with him, truthfully. But anyway, I just was like, you know what? I feel like I'm grown enough to do whatever I want to do. So I just didn't listen. And I was just still being with him, being grown, doing grown woman things. Stupid. And 
at that time because I was being grown, doing grown woman things, being stupid. And I got on birth control. Because I felt like, because I was being grown, doing grown woman things, being stupid, it was the best thing for me to do. To just to get on birth control. And I did not tell him that I was on birth control at the time. I don't know if he knew. But I think I told him later on. But I just got on birth control because I'm just like, you know what? I'm wilding. <laughs> And this is just the I just need some protection okay so did that now come fast forward I'm living with him we're doing all this and my grandmother I visited my grandma one day and she was just asking me okay so since you're living with him and you visit us which is she didn't like it but I guess because I was at an age you can't tell me what to do no more so I guess she was trying to accept it so she said to me okay is he gonna marry you like, is, is marriage coming? Is what, What's going on? Is he going to marry you? And I, that was the question of the day. Because as soon as she mentioned marriage, the whole relationship just went to shit. I'll just say that. Because as soon as marriage was mentioned, mind you, we were, we were very young. Okay? And the minute marriage was mentioned everything was just like going down so my grandmother says is he going to marry you since you are living in his house rent free i didn't have to pay a bill <laughs> i just put that out there i didn't pay no bills i was living in the house i was paying i wasn't paying for a thing so she's like okay you're living in his home okay you're not whatever you're paying a house is is a marriage coming what is going to happen? I said, I don't know. Literally, I, I said, I don't know. She did not like that answer. That was not good enough for her. And to be honest, rightfully so. Because at that age, I should have took that, I don't know, and left. But I didn't. So, fast forward, I go home and my grandmother calls me and mentions it again. Like, you know, and, and my aunt did too. So... She mentions marriage again. Okay, you are living there. What what's 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 the next step? Like what's happening now? Because you already living there. Y'all living together. Yes, you guys are young and it looks like you're not listening to me. So are you guys gonna get married? <sighs> so this is what happens, right? I talk to him about it. I tell him everything my grandmother said. And he just looked at me like I had 15 heads, literally. Like, he just didn't even say anything. So, I said again, like, you know, are do you want to get married? Are we going to get married? Like, you know, is marriage something that we're going to do? And he had nothing to say. Goody! When the nigga ain't saying shit, that's your answer right there. Like, what the fuck you waiting for? Somebody to hit you in the face? Like, like for real. But I, I was young, dumb, full of calm, wilding, just feeling like I'm grown. Not listening to my grandmother, who is the woman that I should be listening to. Who is my mom? I should have been listening to her, but I was at an age where I felt like I knew it all. And I wanted to do it all and whatever I wanted to do because I felt like I was, I grew up in a very strict home. So the minute I got my freedom, I fucking left, okay? And that was it. Like, I had to explain that to her. Like, you were so strict with me. The minute I got free of, free of the strict... I just wanted to do me and I feel like the, the the moment my grandfather passed is when like my grandmother I feel like she she didn't have that strict hold on me no more because my my grandfather backed her in the wild strict decisions <laughs> like, like in all the strict decisions my grandfather yeah he backed her on it no budge Oh God! But anyway, so that happens. He's not saying nothing to me, so I'm just wondering, like, why are you not saying anything? So I ask the most stupidest question a woman should never ask. Like I said, if you love me, will you marry me? 
literally i asked this boy to marry me that's something a woman you should never do okay that is a man's job to propose to you i open my mouth and i propose to that mother okay so <laughs> At that moment, he had nothing to say. Like, literally, he had nothing to say to validate the question that I literally just asked. Literally, nothing. All he said was, since I spoke to my family, he gonna now speak to his family. And then we will decide if, you know, I want to get married. I said, what? So, because he says that, what I decided to do, I called my family. I called my grandmother, I called my aunt, and I told them what he said. And my grandma, my aunt said, pack up your stuff and get out now. There is no point of this relationship continuing. He does not want to marry you. It's done. He want to marry you, but he got to speak to his mother first and his family first because his claim is, okay, since... You spoke to your family. Okay, let me speak to my family. A and then we could, you know, if they say, yeah, we'll, we could get married. What? Huh? No. Mm -mm. You would have been out of them something there. But at the time, I was young and I was foolish. And I didn't leave when my grandmother told me I should have left. Because I was in the hopes that, you know, maybe his family would say, yeah, we could get married. Half his family said yes, and the other half said no. Okay? So his mother and grandmother said yes, marry her. You guys are living together already. You guys are together. Yes, marry her. We love her. We want her to be a part of the family officially. Okay. His brother and his uncle said hell no. Okay? One, you're too young to be doing that. No, we don't need to be doing that. No. So I said, okay, cool. Since half the family said yes, half the family said no, what do you decide? This man looked at me and said, I don't know. Like, we, why we can't wait? And, the, and the, like, all types of, all types of excuses. So I told my grandmother and she told me again, you still attack? Why are you sitting in the park and you come over here to the yard? And I was like, I, I love him. I wouldn't be with him. <laughs> foolishness, okay? Nothing but foolishness. That's, that was my excuse. I love him and I want to be with him. Girl, what does love got to do with it? Love has a lot to do with it, but he don't love you. So what does love got to do with it right now? Get your shit and get the fuck about here. But like, at the time, nah, I didn't do it. Eventually, we broke up. So, you know, we went our separate ways. However, looking back on that, it's like, I should have been listening to my grandmother. And the reason, I, I swear to God. But let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Goody gang out. And if y'all want to part two, let me know. Okay, bye.